Now we have a 1939 EH150 guitar and amplifier. In this model they did away with the Charlie Christian pickup and used the ES300 guitar pickup. It was so large it had to be mounted on an angle and uh, because it's top loading there's no longer any screws on the back of the guitar. It's uh, completely clean or devoid of screws. There's the optional hand rest. Different inlay in the headstock. This particular one has uh, non-original tuners and the pickup was actually a replica built by Jason Lola. Uh, he aged it so that it looks identical to the original and um, he did a fantastic job. It's that imitation tortoise shell. Very nice job. The amp uh, now is slightly larger than the previous models. It doesn't have the top corner protectors, leather corner protectors. It still retains the uh, tweed look and uh, GT stripes. Case matches, guitar case matches. And they simplified the amp a little. No longer has the echo speaker or the uh, tone switch that the earlier ones had. Still has microphone, single input and two instrument inputs. Microphone control and instrument control. This was that, the last time that Gibson used that body shape for their guitars and all their guitars, well, the EH100, 125 and 150 or move to this shape. This particular one's a 100, but those three models plus the guitars that uh, Gibson marketed under other brands um, move to this uh, model with a speed hump pickup. So the 150 became the same shape, they were all share the same shape. So that's uh, the 939 Gibson H150 in amp.